had said no, it's medium or large, but numbers she has written. She has written. 10 is large and now 12 is negative. Thank you. I think it's just the outfit, nothing else. So, what do you like to say about Papa don't take things? Well, Papa don't teach is one of my extremely favorite brands, and you know. Um, and Shubhika has been doing and has done a wonderful, wonderful job again, brilliantly well. Uh, I love the colors that she uses. I love the work that she does. And today, I think she's blown me away with this entire art installation that she's, you know, I think you've seen outside. And uh, I think she she just keeps getting brilliant day by day with all her designs. And I'm just here to, you know, kind of, um, I actually was kind of stalking her. And uh, I wanted to come and meet her and tell this in person that I love the way she, uh, she kind of, you know, um, she can kind of dreams about the outfits and then executes them. I think it's it's amazing, you know, uh, today uh, because uh, you know uh, we are uh, we are so traditional in a way that we are so used to seeing typical traditional colors in uh, mehendis and sangeets and weddings. So Shubhika's take uh, uh, and Papa Don't Preach is a completely refreshing take on you know weddings and lengas and uh, mehendi and sangeet ceremonies. So I think uh, uh, it's it's just brilliant. I'm just so happy to be here. Yeah, Alice in Wonder. Yes, yes, so, yes. Uh, anything special you want well, uh, like uh, Alice was out of this world, and I think her, so is uh, Shubhika's collection. And uh, uh, if you if you come into this store right now, uh, Pernia's pop up studio is like a dreamland. It's like a wonderland, you know. And you you just come in and you you have forgotten what, what world you were staying in. And I think that is brilliant uh, to, to kind of, you know, to imagine this and then to execute this. I think all the girls and all, all the, the entire team behind Shubhika is uh, great and kudos to each and every member. I think they've just put up such a great, great art installation, like I said. So uh, I'm very, very happy to be here, yeah? It's as simple as that. We are talking about all about fashion and hmm. So what are the two things, uh, tips? Uh -huh. uh, firstly, I need to like the outfit. I have to. I have to really like the outfit. Like today, also, I'm wearing a a, a, a very different kind of a sari. So a sari is my thing, you know. I mean, it's it's like my second skin. So I will keep twisting the sari here and there. And so, uh, you know, likewise, also, I think you know, Shubhik also sent me a sari uh, today. So it's a it's a really beautifully draped uh, dhoti sari. So um, I'm I'm uh, my my only thing is that whenever I am um, selecting an outfit, I have to really like the outfit. You know, it's just just because fashion me hai. Isili apko pehna hai. Ye color apne suit nahi karta. Phir bhi apko pehna. Aisa to nahi hota. So uh, something that you really like you should wear it and um, you should be really comfortable in it that's about it okay so anything special you would like to share with your fans 2019 is what uh, 2019 i think a lot of my fans are going to see me in uh, very very different films and characters and uh, um, i'm really really looking forward to um, you know what their reaction is going to be um, because uh, we've just started filming my next uh, Hindi film, which I will talk about later. But today it's all about Alice in Wonderland and it's all about Papa Don't Preach and Shubhika. But, but <laughs> I, will, uh, I will give you another interview for this then. <laughs> uh, well, I just want to say that um, I'm very, very excited because 2019 has opened up really well for me. And I'm excited that my fans will see me in different kirdars. And I hope that they like it. And I hope that they go and watch the films. That's about it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I loved coming here. I think this was <laughs> And this is the best thing that I did in the day today. So uh, please tell us something about your new collection. Uh, so the collection you see here, basically, is inspired by Alice and my Pedro. Both of you here?
very strong, she's a very positive girl and she's like, oh that's the one. बहुत ही vibrant colours यूज़ किए हैं and 
beautiful materials, a nice combination of lovely materials and, and work. And uh, it's a combination of cute and sexy, I, I, I will say that. And uh, I like the way she has an installation made out there with a whole story to it. And she very beautifully explained the entire story of this girl. Uh, which I thought was really lovely and different. Okay, so some, something about Shubhita you would like to say? Uh, well, I must say her stuff is very different. I haven't seen something like this um, in a long time. And um, I mean, I don't know what to focus on because every piece is so different from the other. And um, yeah, it's, it's just lovely. Very different stuff. Okay, since we are talking about fashion uh, today, so we would definitely like to know from you any two things which you keep in mind while you're getting ready or while I'm getting ready, uh, I think for me what's most important is um, whatever I wear, uh, I need to be comfortable in it. Uh, if I'm not comfortable, I won't wear it. Uh, for me, um, apart from comfort, I think I will wear something that I think suits me, not just because it's in, you know, at that moment. Okay, so congratulations, Amita, for Khatroki uh, Khilaji. <laughs> Thank you. One, a first participant to get the ticket to finale ticket. So, first of all, I want to say that how do you feel? It's a good feeling when you put so much hard work in anyone. To uh, get a result like that is, is absolutely brilliant. And it's a very tough show. Khatroon Ki Khilaadi is a very tough show. Hai. And um, to reach, uh, honestly, I I, I I didn't think I would reach the finale because it was quite a tough show to do. But after seeing the results of everything that we shot, I was quite proud of myself for even reaching the finals. Okay, who is the tough competitor in your opinion? Sare. Sare tough. Hai. I mean, you've seen what kind of uh, contestants. But I think Puneet was the toughest. Okay, uh, something lastly, you should say something regarding uh, well, I just I would like to just thank all the fans out there, everyone who's watching the show, for making the show um, the big hit that it is. Uh, it, I think from the time it has aired, it's had the highest TRP on TV uh, as far as the reality shows are concerned. And I just want to thank all of you for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alice who wakes up one day and finds herself in a very strange world which is Earth and it's about her adventures and how she experiences all the different things on Earth but ultimately decides to find a way back home which is to Wonderland. Okay, uh, so tell us uh, what did you like about this collection today? And everything, everything. I love the colour and the fantasy and just the feeling of being in this 
alternate little magical bubble. It was just the whole concept of the shoot and the clothes. It's just I loved it. Okay, uh, so obviously we are talking about fashion today. Okay. So what are the two two things which you keep in mind when we talk about fashion? Uh, we would like to know from you both. Personal, personally, uh, I don't know how to answer that question because fashion to me is my work also mm -hmm. and it's also a personal thing and I think it's the same for her as well. She's also a designer. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I don't know, for me it's, luckily it's ever changing, ever evolving, that's what keeps it fresh and new for me so I don't really have a very fixed definition for it. I think um, I would agree with her. I don't have a fixed definition for it. And uh, I'm not someone who definitely goes with what's on trend. Perhaps I don't even know what's on trend right now. But I see fashion as an extension of your personality. It's the way to wake up every day and sort of express yourself in terms of colors or what you're wearing or just how you want people to view you. And uh, I think that's one way, a very strong way of expressing just who you are and what okay, you like. So let me tell you, you're looking gorgeous. Thank you. So uh, tell us something about the wearing. Uh, to place. tell them about what. So I'm this wearing. was a part of the collection when we shot it, and this was used in uh, a scene where she's making a decision with herself. You know, uh, talking to herself, introspecting. Trying Which to I do out, often yeah, in life as well. Trying to figure out what makes her happy, who she is, what does she want to do, does she want to be on Earth, does she want to go back. So it's that that kind of uh, chapter where she's wearing this. So uh, the silhouette is straight. Uh, it's a no-nonsense silhouette, but yet at the same time, it's got the shine, it's got the sparkle, it's got the happy colors. So, you know, even when we're in that state of serious and deep thought, uh, a Papa Don't Preach girl, or in this case, the wearer of this outfit, always keeps that happy and the positive vibe always go and looks sexy and looks very <laughs> sexy <laughs> if you have that body <laughs> <laughs> okay 2019 is long from your side to come you know? right uh, talking about mental health yes, India's yes. most wanted no so I'm not in India's most wanted but I am in mental health mental health so uh, tell us something how is the preparation going on so I finished shooting already. I shot for it last year in London and now I'm just waiting for it to come out. And I'm also uh, starting season two of Four More Shots, which is a show that I'm in on Amazon and have made in heaven another Amazon show coming out 8th of March. So yeah, it is an exciting year. Okay, lastly, what would you like to say to something about uh, to your fans who would like to say something? Wear Papa Don't Preach, which is her brand, and Akuri by Puri, which is my brand. And uh, thank you for your love. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye.